Shalom, shalom. Let's start with this lesson first and foremost. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and push out the 100% truth and truth and sincerity. And shalom to the hopeful elects, get across the four winds. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. You know, this is a little land back to, you know, a class that we had yesterday, you know, Acts of the Apostles. You know, and hey, the apostles were carrying out miracles. They're carrying out great miracles through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem You know, and hey, a tremendous amount of faith was being showed on both sides. You know, by the, you know, the apostles, hey, believing in Yahweh Shai, trusting in Yahweh Shai, you know, preaching in the name of Yahweh Shem you know. Being able to do these miracles through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem that's hey, that's a tremendous faith. You know, they believed. You know, and also the people that they perform miracles on through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Hey, those people believed too, you know. A tremendous amount of faith was being played out on both sides. You know. First precept that I want to bring out, this is the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. And that's what the apostles were doing, man. You know, they were going from from, from city to city, hey, performing miracles through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. I'm going to grab a couple accounts, pull a couple precepts, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. The first account that I want to bring out it's Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Now Peter and John went up into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask of alms, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen... Peter and John about to go in the temple asked in alms, and Peter fastened his eyes upon them with John said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something on something of them. You know, so this was a man that was at the temple daily, you know. He was handicapped. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I give, such as I have, I give thee. Salakia, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Yahweh Mashiach of, of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Hey, that's a tremendous amount of faith for you to be, you know, to be lame from your mother's womb. To to now, you know, the apostles come and they, hey, they tell you get up and walk. You know, any other person would be like, man, I ain't going to be able to walk. But he had faith. He believed. You know, that's why when Yahweh Shai was performing these miracles, he kept saying, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. And that's what happened. Hey, you believed in this word. You trusted in this truth. Hey, your faith made you whole. You know? And that's what happened to this lame man. He was healed through the spirit of the power of Yahweh Shai. He believed. He believed. You know, the next precept that I wanted to bring out is, um, hmm, that's just for Acts 3, Acts 5, another account that I liked, it's the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 15, in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets, and laid them on the beds and couches that at the less the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed, everyone. So the shadow of Peter, you know, that's a, like I said, that's a tremendous amount of faith, you know, thinking that. The shadow of Peter, even if it passes on them, they may be healed. And they were healed. You know, that's a beautiful thing, man. A call out Yahweh Shem You know, that's a beautiful thing. You know, this word heals. You know, this word gives you life. 
You know, believing in Yahusha, that's life. You know? The next precept that I want to grab, right here. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And he, hey, the apostles did it, hey. And even the times that we're coming into, we understand that we're coming into Jacob's trouble. It's not going to be all, you know, kill Esau, you know, putting people to death. Hey, it's going to be healing. You know, miracles are going to be performed, you know. And we're going to carry out those miracles, Lord willing. Hey, the Lord give us spiritual power. I don't write this out. We probably elect. Hey, we're going to be performing miracles. We're going to be healing. Let's go. <laughs> the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. So Yahweh is going to go unto Yahweh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, this is what we're looking forward to, man. You know? We're looking forward to carrying out miracles, you know? Of course, we want to send Jacob's trouble. We're going to put these Edomites to death. You know, we're going to, we're going to give them hell. We're going to raise hell, you know? How it runs out, the Lord gives us spiritual power. But, hey, we're going to be healing. Brothers are going to be performing miracles in front of people, just like the apostles, you know? Hey, they perform miracles in front of people. They perform miracles on people through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem And we're going to be doing those in the days to come. Lord willing, you know? The next precept that I want to bring out, and I'll close out on this, because this right here itself is powerful. It's powerful, you know? This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. They believed. They believed in the word. They believed in Yahweh Shai. They believed in Yahweh Shai because he is the word. Come on, man. Yahweh Shai is the volume of the book. Let's go. You know? I'm lit right now. Hey, call out Yahweh Shai. I'm lit right now, man. They believe, man. Hey, we got to believe. We got to believe in the Lord, man. That's how Yahweh Shai was telling them your faith has made you whole. And we got to believe too. So, hey, our faith can make us whole. You know, speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Hey, man, you know, hey, that was a beautiful lesson that the brother Jeremiah did, you know, sparked up this lesson, you know, through spirit and power, you me outside, you know, hey, the times to come, I'll give him, hey, be prepared to perform miracles, man. Be prepared to perform healings, you know, be prepared. And when you do it, give all praise to y'all bashing me outside because we're not doing this for vain glory. We're not doing it for us, you know? Hey, we're doing all these things through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. The Lord gave us that power to do that. Let's go. Let's go. And with that being said, I just want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and push out the 100% truth and truth of sincerity. And Shalom to the whole four elect scattered across the four winds. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. Until the next, Shalom. Hey, keep fighting, keep pushing, Akim, and hey, let's go. Shalom.